We all in this together now. Uptown, I see a lot of brothers and sisters, young and old, living on the street, you and I, we getting by, sharing the world no matter who we meet. Yeah. We all living in a world of many faces. Lots of people trying to find the right places. We all living in a world of many faces. One big family in the making. One world. Got it going now. One world, we're living in. You and I, we living to make it better now. One world, we're living in. One world, you got it going now. This is the day. you two get paid to be movie critics. Why? I know a lot about film. Just because you drop off pictures at the one hour photo does not mean you know a lot about film. <laughs> Would you look at that face? Does the camera love me or what? <laughs> hey, Ben, what about Spike Lee's new movie? Now, I love the life and death struggle and the performance by Denzel Washington. Whew. Wow. I like the babes. Bada bing. <laughs> Do you have any idea how many girls just saw this face? Do you have any idea how many girls just took up reading? Oh, I'd love to be on TV. What well, a weather girl at the station is leaving. Maybe you can get her job. Sue doesn't know anything about the weather. Yes, I do. Rain is really bad for suede. I thought you were going to be a professional athlete. Well, I need something to fall back on when I'm old, like 25. Yeah, you go, girlfriend. What? Doesn't anybody else watch Malcolm and Eddie? I'm applying for that job. Everything about me says, weather girl. <laughs> or hat rack. Thanks for hiring me. I can't believe I'm gonna be working here. Why? Your audition was terrific. You're the best looking weather girl I've ever seen. Well, thanks, Mr. Gecko. Call me Randy. All right, Randy. This is your workstation. Settle in, get familiar with all the equipment, and I'll see you later. Hello, Mr. Sun. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cloud. <laughs> oh, look, I made it rain in Tampa. So how did you do? I got the job. Oh, really? <laughs> well, now you can tell people all about highs and lows and hurricanes. And barometric pressure and humidity. I have no idea what you're talking about. If the humidity's too high, it's going to be a frizzy hair day. Now you're talking my language. Hi. I'm Ben Blake. I've got my own show here. It's cable access. They give monkeys their own show. <laughs> I'm Sue, the new weather girl. I'm Julie, the old weather girl. Well, this is totally embarrassing. No, it's not. Couldn't cut it in TV, huh? <laughs> now it's totally embarrassing. Uh, before you go, do you have any advice for me? Good luck with the job. You're gonna need it. My angel. Are you just gonna stare at the back of her head? <sighs> For now. <laughs> She's alone. Why don't you go over there and talk to her? Or better yet, just sit there and let me squirt loser in your forehead. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cray Blake. Aren't you the guy who hangs around my locker? <laughs> well, that depends on whether you think it's dorky and pathetic or cute and irresistible. <laughs> I like that. What else do you like? Johnny Lang's music, extreme sports. Oh, cool, me too. Perfect together. Almost perfect. You don't have a pierced ear. And I love a guy who wears an earring. Whoa. I was just saying to myself this morning, Gray, my man, you have got to get an earring. <laughs> I'm 
this, I'm gonna freak. To Sue Chill, you're gonna do fine. Where's Mr. Sun? Oops, it looked like a cookie. We go in three, two. Hi, Miami. I'm Sue Blake, and it's time for What's Up With Weather. There's a cold front and the pressure's dropped. You know what that means? It's raining. <laughs> if you're worried about the wind messing up your dew, don't. Just carry a trendy rain hat. <laughs> See, you can be practical and still look cute. Wow. And that's What's Up With Weather. We'll see you next time. And we're clear. Oh. You did great! Yeah. <laughs> Once I got out there, I could feel the adrenaline pumping. It was amazing! Just like when you kicked the winning goal. I seen your own reflection in the mirror. <laughs> I can be a weather girl, Neil. I can be the best weather girl in the whole world. <laughs> you were great, Sue. I see a big future for you in TV. Now you stick with me, and I'll make you a star. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> make me a star. <laughs> Please? Uh, I'll wash your car. Even though it was my first broadcast, I feel like I've been doing this forever. That's because you're a natural. I knew there was something special about you. That means a lot to me, Randy. Thanks. Congratulations again, sweetheart. You are something. Check it before you throw it out. Sure. Craig, taste this. <laughs> Mom, you look especially glowy today. You know, a lot of women let themselves go when they get pregnant, but not you. Well, thank you, sweetie. I don't like to brag, but of all your kids, I am the best. I mean, I don't sneak out. I don't break curfew. I suck up all the time. <laughs> okay, Craig, what do you want? Nothing. You know, just to get my ear pierced. Kayla will only go out with him if he does. Who's Kayla? A ninth grade hottie. Son, you can't do things just because some hottie wants you to. You do stuff just because mom wants you to. Mm. That's different. It's called marriage. No earring. Great, my life's over. Cray, be honest. Really wasn't much of a life, was it? Just because he hugged you? Mr. Gecko never hugged me. <laughs> You're a guy. I'm still huggable. I hope I didn't do anything to make Gecko think I like him. I mean, I'm excited about the job. Look, Sue, just because your boss hugged you doesn't mean anything. Gator Joe hugs me and he's just being friendly. Friendly? Now she's gonna get more airtime, more money, a bigger dressing room than me? <laughs> you don't have a dressing room? Yes, I do. The broom closet. I put a big gold star on the door. Ben, I don't want your broom closet. I just want to do a good job. Which you did, and that's why your boss hugged you. Yeah, you're probably right. Hey, I'm going to go work on some ideas to jazz up my show. I'll be upstairs brainstorming. Wonder whose brain she's going to use. <laughs> well, I hope Gecko isn't coming on us soon. But I heard rumors that the last weather girl left because he got too friendly. Well, why didn't you tell her? Come on, man, she's psyched about her job. You know, and I don't know if it's true. Okay. But what if it is? Matt, where have you been? It's something really important to do. <laughs> hey, Randy. Can I call you Randy? No. <laughs> Who are you? One of the movie critics. The hunk. Imagine my face on the side of a bus. <laughs> it would be great advertising for the show. <laughs> Look, whoever you are, the only way your face is going to end up on a bus is if you're riding in it. <laughs> cute. Very cute. I know. They're funnel clouds. Too bad they kill people. You know, I've been getting calls about you. Oh, no. Did the people in Tallahassee complain because I said they were all wet? It's not my fault they had a flash flood. Calls were good, Sue. How would you like more airtime? Great. I have tons of weather stories to tell, like the freaky kid who's been struck by lightning 37 times. 
37 times. Yeah. You'd think he'd stop wearing that metal hat. <laughs> and then I could even talk Whoa. about... Whoa. I don't have time to get into this now. Why don't you pull together a presentation and we'll meet in my office 